What about the you're coaching? Not going about, well, you? You, well I, you just when you said um, with good coaching, the team could do anything. What about the coaching at the moment? Is it good enough? Uh, probably not, no. Because what you've got is, in my opinion, you've got that squad of players that I sent into you yesterday, um, barring John Walters. I'm trying to look at the, the the most senior ones on, on the squad I've got in front of me. I think it's only John Walters, maybe Shane Long, because he because he came over that little bit later um, to England. All of these players have been coached through an academy system where they get every little detail. They get coached to the umpteenth degree. And Martin doesn't manage in that way. He doesn't manage in that manner. It's player-driven. Do they get enough coaching? Do they give enough organisation? No, I don't think so. That's not going to change. So are we staring down the barrel of a, a bad qualifying campaign next time around and, and like is this hurtling towards the inevitable where it looks like a manager has stayed on one campaign too much again? Possibly. Um, I think we need to give it a, a good go. It's not going to be easy. There's room for error within the um, the next stages of qualification. That, that's our only saving grace. It's, it, it's all about a seeding process the, the first the first few games. But we've got tough opposition, Wales and, and Denmark, as we, as we well know. So it's going to be tricky. Um, I think he has to stick with a similar system. Whether he'll do that, probably not. The players need to know what they're doing. I go back to the way they're, they're used to their club level. They get given all the details. They get given the information early, whether it's set pieces, the way they're playing, patterns of play, phases, whatever way you want to call it. They don't get it at that at international level. And I know time is of the essence at international level, but I still think we, we can do a little bit more. Yeah, it's it, like how long does it take to kind of transform that to something where you look around and you think to yourself, this is looking very rosy now? I mean, like just even reading this morning about Uruguay and Oscar Tabares, who came in after they failed to qualify for the 2006 World Cup, and some of the quotes that Jonathan Wilson had in his piece in The Guardian saying yeah. that the Uruguayans would have bitten your hand off if you'd even given them the style of play that they would have uh, played with the last day uh, against Egypt last Friday, just the, the passing style rather than kind of the very one-dimensional approach they used to have in 2006, which is kind of uh, rings familiar to the way Ireland currently are at the moment. Now, granted, obviously, we can't really compare ourselves to Uruguay given the playing resources and the history that they have as a footballing nation, but it seems that they managed to turn that around from 2006 to 2010. I'm not sure, was it a four-year plan specifically, but it was certainly a plan that's allowed them to qualify for every single major tournament since, and it's been done in a manner which is very attractive on the eye. On the, the big problem we have is... We all know it's, this, it's a little bit of a transitional period, whatever way you want to call it. The big issue we have is we are hosting games in two years' time. And if we are not at that European Championships, hosting games, playing them in Dublin, it's going to be a disaster. Mm. So I think that's a big reason why Martin stayed on with the FAI. They felt he was the best person to get them through to then. And I think that'll be it. I really do. Um, I can't see him going on beyond that. Um, in terms of the evolution of the style of play, I don't think we'll see it under Martin because Martin manages in a certain way. He will have this squad of players available to him. And at times it's going to be frustrating. At times it'll be player-driven. At times Martin come up, might come up with a little bit of uh, magic or whatever way you want to call it to, to get that key result just to get us over the line. But I think it's going to be tricky in terms of us getting there.